Hello, this is Joe Pryor, the virtual real estate team. We represent investors in the Oklahoma City and Tulsa market. What an incredible week that it's been. Uh, this last week, and it's August 12th, Monday. This is our normal Monday musing. It's been an incredible week. Primary thing is the reduction in interest rates. Just a few weeks ago, an investor, even with a buy down, was paying 6.625% in rates. Now it's at 5.5% with buy downs on a 30 year fixed mortgage. What happened? First thing is inflation. The inflation report came out and the inflation numbers on the core inflation was at 2%. That was exactly what the Fed wanted is a 2% inflation rate. Now, the volatile numbers are certainly food and energy. Energy's not been too bad. Obviously, any of us that's ever been to a supermarket recently knows that food is not doing as well as it should. but. What that basically meant is uh, Jerome Powell came out and indicated a September uh, reduction in rates. And now the betting is, is it gonna be 25 basis points, gonna be 50 basis points? Is there gonna be more than one reduction before the end of the year? Did they hold the rates tight for too long? And this is kind of what the speculation is. What kind of on the other hand we saw last week was a jobs report that came in way lower than expected. So all of a sudden the word recession was thrown around and obviously we haven't had a recession in 15 years where seven years is normal. Every seven years we have some kind of recession, not like 2008, soft landings, but something happens which causes the market to go down. And the stock market went nuts in a very, very bad way. We lost a thousand points on the Dow in one day. And then what happened is inevitably if a recession, if the numbers really aren't there for recession, stock market came back. But again, the numbers that you saw from Jerome Powell was good numbers, you know, he was talking about because he was afraid that if we went above employment, which means the economy is heating up more, then there was no reason to reduce rates. So what's happened is those three things, core inflation went down, Jerome Powell's statements about September and the jobs report, all made the market be ahead of what the Fed does. So even regardless of what the Fed is doing in September, the market has already baked that in. In other words, they've already reduced the rates. This is how the market works. They interpret the numbers and those numbers meant that the rates should go down. So for investors, numbers are looking really good right now in the Oklahoma City and Tulsa market. Two other things I wanna talk about and try to do it quickly. A report just came out that just kind of, sh it astounded me in a way, but, and I know we're post COVID and things should be back to normal, but actually new construction nationwide was 3.5% less than existing in, uh, construction. I've never seen that in 35 years of real estate. But again, these markets are not correlated. New construction is a cost approach. Uh, existing homes is the comp approach. So it's more based on supply and demand there, supply and demand here. And so what's happened is actually it's better for you to buy a new home. And we've said this for the last 20 years to investors that, you know, if it's cheaper, especially you also add the fact it's brand new, consistent neighborhoods, warranties on everything, never been used, it's a better purchase. And that was one thing that was really, really terrific. The second thing, Realtor.com just came out and said that Oklahoma City is the number two rental market in the United States to invest in because job stability, uh, job opportunities, job growth, lack of commu commuting time. We've gotten some great numbers about Oklahoma City. New home construction is actually less than existing and rates are down one and 2.5% to 5.5 with points to buy down on a 30 year mortgage. A lot of good news this week. I can't wait till next Monday to really update you on what's going on.